Hello and welcome to this video from Clocks for Classics and in this video we're going to show you a few simple checks that you can carry out on your clock mechanism to check that it's suitable for repair using the Clocks for Classics repair kit. And as you can see here we have a clock uh, with the case removed and we're just going to take you through now the various items that you can check in order to make sure the clock is suitable for repair. So the first item we're going to have a look at is the hairspring which is being pointed out now. Now it's very unusual for the hairspring to be damaged but it's just good to check that it's not broken. Uh, the next item we need to check is the balance wheel. Now that should move freely. If it doesn't move freely it could be there's just some dirt in the bearings. It's also good to check that the uh, balance wheel doesn't have any excessive amount of lateral movement. It's quite normal for it to have a small amount of up and down movement as you can see here. And then the final item that we're going to check is the solenoid. It is possible to get an internal break in the connections of the solenoid and uh, one way to check for this is to power up the clock. So I'm going to do that now by connecting a 12 volt supply. It's a positive earth clock so I'm connecting the red terminal to the body of the clock and then I'm going to just short this pin here to the body of the clock using a screwdriver as you can see. And you can see when I do that I get some movement on the balance wheel and as long as you see that then the solenoid is fine. Now if you don't see any movement when you carry out this test then please do contact us as solenoids can usually be repaired. Well thank you for watching and I hope you found that helpful. Please do take a look at our other videos which show how to repair your clock using the Clocks for Classics repair kit and also don't forget to take a look at our website. Goodbye.